Kumarila Bhatta, Florida, roughly 700, was a Hindu or Brahmanical philosopher and Mimamsa scholar from present-day India. He is famous for many of his various theses on Mimamsa, such as Mimamsa Slokavartika. Bhatta was a staunch believer in the supreme validity of Vedic injunction, a great champion of Purva Mimamsa and a confirmed ritualist. The Vartika is mainly written as a subcommentary of Sabara's commentary on Jaimini's Purva Mimamsa Sutras. His philosophy is classified by some scholars as existential realism. Scholars differ as regards Kumarila Bhatta's views on a personal god. For example, Manika Vachikar believed that Bhatta promoted a personal god, Saguna Brahman, which conflicts with the Mimamsa school. In his Vartika, Kumarila Bhatta goes to great lengths to argue against the theory of a creator god and held that the actions enjoined in the Veda had definite results without an external interference. Kumarila is also credited with the logical formulation of the Mimamsic belief that the Vedas are unauthored In particular, his defense against medieval Buddhist positions on Vedic rituals is noteworthy. Some believe that this contributed to the decline of Buddhism in India, because his lifetime coincides with the period in which Buddhism began to decline. Indeed, his dialectical success against Buddhists is confirmed by Buddhist historian Taranatha, who reports that Kumarila defeated disciples of Buddhapalkita, Bhavya, Dharmadasa, Dignaga and others. His work strongly influenced other schools of Indian philosophy, with the exception that while Mimamsa considers the Upanishads to be subservient to the Vedas, the Vedanta school does not think so. <laughs> Early life The birthplace of Kumarila Bhatta is uncertain. According to the 16th century Buddhist scholar Taranatha, Kumarila was a native of South India. However, Anandagiri's Shankara Vijaya states that Kumarila came from the north, Udagdisat, and persecuted the Buddhists and the Jains in the south. Another theory is that he came from eastern India, specifically Kamarupa. Sesas Sarvasiddhanta Rahasya uses the eastern title Bhattacharya for him. His writings indicate that he was familiar with the production of silk, which was common in present-day Assam. Linguistics views Kumarila Bhatta and his followers in the Mimamsa tradition known as Bhattas argued for a strongly compositional view of semantics called Abhihitanvaya or designation of what has been denoted. In this view, the meaning of a sentence was understood only after understanding first the meanings of individual words. Word reference were independent, complete objects, a view that is close to the Fedorian view of language, according to philosopher Daniel Arnold. He also used several Tamil words in his works, including one of the earliest mention of the name Dravida in North Indian sources, found in his Tantravartika. The above mentioned view of sentence meaning was debated over some seven or eight centuries by the followers of Prabhakara school within Mimamsa, who argued that words do not directly designate meaning. Rather, word meanings are understood as already connected with other words. Connected, Abhidana Denotation. This view was influenced by the holistic arguments of Bartrari's Svota theory. Essentially the Prabhakaras argued that sentence meanings are grasped directly, from perceptual and contextual cues, skipping the stage of grasping singly the individual word meanings, similar to the modern view of linguistic underspecification, which relates to the dynamic turn in semantics, that also opposes purely compositional approaches to sentence meaning. Criticism of Buddhism With the aim to prove the superiority of Vedic scripture, Kumarila Bhatta presented several novel arguments. 1. Buddhist or Jain scripture could not be correct because it had several grammatical lapses. He specifically takes the Buddhist verse, Ime Samkata Dhamma Sambhavanti Sakarana Akarana Vinasanti these phenomena arise when the cause is present and perish when the cause is absent. Thus he presents his argument. The scriptures of Buddhists and Jains are composed in overwhelmingly incorrect asadu language, words of the Magadha or Dakshinatya languages, or even their dialects Therefore false compositions they cannot possibly be true knowledge shastra. By contrast, the very form itself the well language of the Veda proves its authority to be independent and absolute. 
This argument of Kumarila relies heavily on his idea that the meanings of each individual word should be complete for the sentence to have a meaning. It may be noted, that the Pali canon was intentionally recorded in local dialects and not in languages germane only to the scholarly point too. Every extant school held some scripture to be correct. To show that the Veda was the only correct scripture, Kumarila ingeniously said that, "...the absence of an author would safeguard the Veda against all reproach." Aparishaya. There was, "...no way to prove any of the contents of Buddhist scriptures directly as wrong in spirit." Unless one challenges the legitimacy and eternal nature of the scripture itself. It is well known that the Pali Canon was composed after the Buddha's Parinirvana. Further, even if they were the Buddha's words, they were not eternal or unauthored like the Vedas. 3. The Sautrantika Buddhist school believed that the universe was momentary Kumarila said that this was absurd, given that the universe does not disappear every moment. No matter how small one would define the duration of a moment, one could divide the moment into infinitely further parts. Kumarila argues, if the universe is does not exist between moments, then in which of these moments does it exist? Because a moment could be infinitesimally small, Bada argued that the Buddhist was claiming that the universe was non-existent. 4. The determination of perception Some scholars believe that Kumarila's understanding of Buddhist philosophy was far greater than that of any other non-Buddhist philosopher of his time. However, see Tabor 2010 for an alternate view. According to Bhutan Rinchen Drub, Kumarila spoke abusively towards his nephew, Dharmakirti, as he was taking his Brahmanical garments. This drove Dharmakirti away, and resolving to vanquish all non Buddhist heretics, he took the robes of the Buddhist order instead. <inaudible> <inaudible> Legendary life According to legend, Kumarila went to study Buddhism at Nalanda the largest 4th century university in the world, with the aim of refuting Buddhist doctrine in favor of Vedic religion. He was expelled from the university when he protested against his teacher Dharmakirti ridiculing the Vedic rituals. Legend has it that even though he was thrown off of the university's tower, he survived with an eye injury. Modern Mimamsa scholars and followers of Vedanta believe that this was because he imposed a condition on the infallibility of the Vedas, thus encouraging the Hindu belief that one should not even doubt the infallibility of the Vedas. Kumarila Bhatta is an avatar of Kumaraswami, the son Parvati and Shiva. The main purpose of this avatar was to protect the Vedas karma marham puja, abhishekam, yaginam, yahan, homam which were dwindling away from the then India Bharatha Desam. Vedas are and continue to remain to define Bharatha Desam from which the present day India has taken its shape, co-existing along with many other religious beliefs. Kumarila Bhatta left Nalanda after that and settled down in Prayag modern-day Allahabad. Kumarila visited many kingdoms and regionalities to debate with the Buddhist pundits. It was tradition at that time that whoever wins a debate in the king's court, their philosophy and ideology would be accepted by the king and by the subjects. To prevent the further downfall of Vedic Sanskriti, Kumarila Bhatta had defeated many Buddhist pundits and saved the country from Buddhist supremacy. It so happened that the jealous Buddhist scholars, who were unable to defeat Bhatta in debates, challenged him to a stunt. They said, if your Vedas are the truth, you should survive even when you fall from the top of a mountain. Kumarila Bhatta had utter conviction and faith in the Vedas and Shrutis and readily accepted this challenge. He proclaimed, If the Vedas are the ultimate truth, I should survive, and was pushed from the top of a building. In doing so, he survived but there was a scratch above his right eye. He questioned mother of the Vedas, Gayatri Mata, who replied in the form of a voice from the sky. You had a small doubt about the truthfulness of the Vedas, which was clear by the usage of the word if. That is the reason you got a small hurt, but I spared your life, which is what you have asked for. Even though he survived, he felt bad about cheating the Buddhist pundits to learn about Buddhism. He decided to take samadhi by burning himself on a pile of peanut shells, which is said to be the most tortuous death, to free himself from the sin of cheating. This character study can be found in the works of Pandurang Shastri Athavale. One medieval work on the life of Sankara considered most accurate claims that Sankara challenged Bhatta to a debate on his deathbed. Kumarila Bhatta could not debate Sankara and instead directed him to argue with his student Mandana Misra in Mahismati. He said, You will find a home at whose gates there are a number of caged parrots discussing abstract topics like 
Do the Vedas have self-validity or do they depend on some external authority for their validity? Are karmas capable of yielding their fruits directly, or do they require the intervention of God to do so? Is the world eternal, or is it a mere appearance, where you find the caged parrots discussing such abstruse philosophical problems, you will know that you have reached Mandana's place." Another work on Sankara's life, however, claims that Sankara implored Kumarila not to commit suicide. Another contradictory legend, however, says that Kumarila continued to live on with two wives several students, one of whom was Prabhakara. According to this legend, Kumarila died in Varanasi at the age of 80. Works Slokavartika. Exposition on the Verses. Commentary on Shabara's Commentary on Jaimini's Mimamsa Sutras, BK, 1, CH, 1, 2. Tantravartika. Exposition on the Sacred Sciences. Commentary on Shabara's Commentary on Jaimini's Mimamsa Sutras, BK, 1, CH, 2 to 4, and BKs, 2 to 3, 3. Tuptaka. Full Exposition. Commentary on Shabara's Commentary on Jaimini's Mimamsa Sutras, BKs. 4 to 9, 4. Katauka, K., Kumarila on Truth, Omniscience and Killing. Part 1, a critical edition of Mimamasa Slokavartika ad 1.1.2 Kodanasutra. Part 2, an annotated translation of Mimamsa Slokavartika ad 1.1.2 Kodanasutra Wien, 2011 Sitzingsbericht der Philosophische Historischen Klasse, 814, Beatridge zur Kultur und Geistesgeschichte Asiens, 68. Notes References Arnold, Daniel Anderson. Buddhists, Brahmins, and Belief, Epistemology in South Asian Philosophy of Religion. Columbia University Press, 2005. ISBN 978-0-231-13281-7. A Ready Reference to Philosophy East and West. University Press of America. Bot, Gavardhan P. The Basic Ways of Knowing, an in-depth study of Kumarila's contribution to Indian epistemology. Delhi, Mutilal Banarasidas, 1989. ISBN 81-208-0580-1. Kumarila Bada, translated by Ganganatha Jha, 1985. Slokavartika. The Asiatic Society, Calcutta. Bimal Krishna Matilal 1990. The Word and the World, India's Contribution to the Study of Language. Oxford. Vijaya Rani 1982. Buddhist Philosophy as Presented in Mimamsa Sloka Vartika, 1st ed. Paramal Publications, Delhi ASIN B0006 ECAEO. Sheldon Pollock 2006. The Language of the Gods in the World of Men, Sanskrit, Culture and Power in Premodern India. University of California Press. Sharma, Perry Sarvaswara 1980. Anthology of Kumarilabhata's Works. Delhi, Mutilal Banarsidas. Sheridan, Daniel P. Kumarilabhata. In Great Thinkers of the Eastern World, ed. Ian McGready, New York, Harper Collins, 1995. ISBN 0-06-270085-5. Translated and commentary by John Tabor, January 2005. A Hindu Critique of Buddhist Epistemology. Routledge ISBN 978-0-415-33602-4. Topic. External links. Text of Mimamsalokavartika by Kumari Labada in transliterated Sanskrit. HTTP colon slash slash www.crvp.org slash book slash series 03 slash ieb dash 4 slash introduction dot htm HTTP colon slash slash www.orkarnataka.com slash book slash sartha underscore book underscore review HTM <laughs>